So for more than 100 years, we had only one type of screening test, which we call the tuberculin skin test. We did it for more than 100 years, where you put uh, the, uh, under the skin uh, the PPD, and you look at the result. But unfortunately, in immunocompromised patients, and in stem cell transplant recipient in particular, they don't react to the skin test. So we needed better testing uh, for tuberculosis. And for the past 10 years now, we have a blood test for it, what we call interferon gamma release assay, or IGRAS. Uh, there's two different of IGRA, two different uh, assays. Uh, and I discussed and during the symposium the difference between the two assays. And we sh I shared with the audience our experience with the T-SPOT TB assay, uh, which is kind of new tests over the past few years to screen patients for latent TB or if they've been exposed to tuberculosis before they get to the stage of infection where it could be very hard to treat. So we like to catch it early on during the latent phase and then give them prophylaxis or preventive strategy to prevent progression and probably death from this infection. So that's what I discuss in my talk. The second part of the symposium was the cytomegalovirus and Dr. Hans Hirsch, he described the usage of this IGRA test or the interferon gamma release assay test to predict uh, the occurrence of CMV or cytomegalovirus reactivation in stem cell transplant, which is a very common problem and common complications uh, after transplant and we try to prevent. But having a tool uh, to predict who's going to reactivate, I think it will be nice in the future to incorporate this tool in our preventive strategy. And that's what he discussed in his talk. The T-Spot is an early spot uh, platform where uh, you take a blood of patients and you uh, enumerate the T-cells uh, and you wash the T-cells, you standardize it, you normalize it in four wells, and then you take the blood in, in the four wells, and then you export them to TB antigens for the TB or CMV antigen for CMV. If they start secreting gamma interferon and you have a way of capturing this gamma interferon, then you get a positive test depending on the threshold. So for TB, if they have positive tests, meaning they've been exposed to tuberculosis. For the CMV, if they have positive tests after transplant, this is good because now we know they could be protected against CMV reactivation. 